Hello friends. How often do you see a patient with nystagmus? Nystagmus is defined by rhythmic, involuntary and jerky movements of the eyeball when they are fixed on an object. It signifies the disturbance of the ocular posture. It can be central or peripheral. Peripheral nystagmus decreases on visual fixation whereas central nystagmus is not affected. The direction of nystagmus is to the opposite side of the lesion in peripheral nystagmus and it is towards the same side of the lesion in the central nystagmus. Now let us see the examination. First of all, rule out the weakness of extraocular muscles. This we have already demonstrated in our previous video on 6 nerve palsy. Now ask the patient to look forward. Observe the phases of movements. It can be jerky or pendular. In pendular nystagmus, both phases are of equal amplitude and velocity whereas in jerky nystagmus there is a fast and a slow phase. Now ask the patient to fixate his vision on your index finger which is held at 60 cm distance, kept at least 5 seconds laterally on both the sides in turns. Now place your fingers above and below his head to examine in the vertical plane as well. We describe nystagmus under the following heading. Is it pendular or jerky? Direction is determined by the direction of fast component. Plane of testing is it horizontal or vertical? Plane of oscillatory movements of the nystagmus which could be horizontal, vertical or rotatory and grading of nystagmus. Here is a patient who has jerky nystagmus in the horizontal plane. There are three grades of nystagmus. Grade 1 is when nystagmus is present with eccentric gaze. In grade 2, it is present in the primary gaze and increases in intensity with the gaze in the direction of the fast component. In grade 3, fast component continues to beat even with the gaze in the direction of the slow component. Now observe this patient. Fast component of nystagmus is upwards and nystagmus increases in upward gaze. So, this is upbeat nystagmus. If the upbeat nystagmus increases in the up gaze, then the lesion is localized to the cerebellar vermis, whereas if it decreases in the up gaze, then the lesion is in the medulla. Some of the important causes of upbeat nystagmus are cerebellar or medullary lesions, Wernicke's encephalopathy, and drug intoxication.